the engineers, para sa video natin ngayon, ang i-discuss natin will be uh, the part 2 of the eccentrically loaded shallow foundation. So, dito sa video na to, ang i-discuss natin will be kung paano uh, nakaka-apekto yung moment and yung uh, current distance dun sa bearing pressure na ita-transfer nung superstructure papunta dun sa foundation natin. So, let's start this topic right away. So, sa video na to, unahin natin i-discuss yung So, sa video na to, unahin natin i-discuss yung concentrically loaded foundation. Ano nga ba yung concentrically loaded foundation? So, yung concentrically loaded foundation is siya yung uh, footing or foundation na kung saan actual load lang yung may transfer sa kanya galing superstructure. So, ang nangyari is yung actual load is coinciding with the center of gravity nung footing natin. So, ito yung CG ng footing as indicated in this figure tapos ito yung actual load so paano nangyaring actual load lang yung nai-transfer from the superstructure so nangyari yun coming from structural analysis ginawa nating pin support yung uh, footing natin on our structural analysis, uh, analysis so ang nangyari is actual load lang yung uh, transfer so, as well as, ibig sabihin nun, uh, yung column natin na sinusuportahan ng footing is nagko-coincide yung CG niya or yung center of gravity ng column na yun dun sa center of gravity ng footing. Kaya nangyari na actual load lang yung na-transfer. So, para dito, ang ikukos niya na bearing pressure dun sa soil is a uniformly distributed load lang which will be P divided by A or the actual load divided by the area pero ano yung area na gagamitin natin syempre, ang area na gagamitin natin is kung ano yung nag, uh, nagkakos ng bearing dun sa soil natin so ang nagkakos ng bearing dun sa soil natin is kapag kinuha natin yung top view ng footing which is nandito sa figure na to So, meron tayo dong B and L. So, ibig sabihin, the area will just be B times the L. So, yan ngayon yung concentrically loaded foundation. Whereas, uh, to add, sa, uh, sa concentrically loaded shallow foundation, we don't have an eccentricity. So, ibig sabihin, the E is equal to zero. Ngayon, dao naman tayo dun sa eccentrically loaded foundation na kung saan meron lang tayong eccentricity pero it is less than the E sub K. So, to review, E sub K is the current distance. So, para dito sa eccentrically loaded foundation, wala dito sa figure na to makikita natin na meron tayong little amount of eccentricity galing dun sa superstructure so it's either uh, ginawa nating fixed support yung support natin or talagang nagkaroon ng little eccentricity due to the deviation of the center of gravity and the center of gravity ng footing and ng column so nagkaroon tayong little amount of eccentricity pero mas maliit sya dun sa current distance so, ibig sabihin, using the principle of transmissibility from our previous video, it can create a little amount of moment capacity. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong M is equal to P times the E. So, from this one, kung kukunin na natin, ito, yung pagkakaroon niya ng moment, so, we have an actual load 
and a moment. Ganun naman talaga pag nag, uh, ginamit natin yung principle of transmissibility from statics. So, ang tendency, syempre, yung axial load will cause a bearing pressure which is P over A na parang sa concentrically loaded. Pero, as you can see, yung moment natin will cause a bending pressure or yung parang bending sa RCD natin or sa strength of materials which will be or which will have this diagram and has an equation of the bending formula which is MC over DI. So, as you can see, dito i-compress niya sa side na to and dito is hihilahin niya pataas. So, ibig sabihin, ito siya, MC over DI, pero pa-compress, yung dito naman is potential na MC over I. So, ang tendency nun is, i-add natin silang dalawa, yung dalawang diagrams natin, and this will be the resulting diagram. So, if this is, uh, sa soil kasi, pag-compression, we take it as uh, positive. So, okay lang siya and if tension yun yung negative dito so ibig sabihin uh, P over A plus the MC over I dito may possibility na lumaki yung load kasi inad nya natin and that will cause a Q max on this side and on the uh, opposite side we have P over A plus the negative MC over I so parang binawasan niya si P over A. So, ang tendency, liliit yung load dito and magkakaroon tayo ng Q minimum. So, this will be our resulting diagram for our uh, eccentrically loaded foundation na yung E is lesser than E sub K. So, meron tayo dyang Q max which is uh, P over A plus DMC over I. And we also have the cumin which is the negative or the P over A minus DMC over I. So, yan ngayon yung Q max natin and Q min. Actually, pwede pa natin silang simplify kasi from this top view Alam natin na yung bending na ikokos na to on top yung moment is ganito yung itsura. So, parang gagawin natin siyang naka higang beam. So, kung pa ganyan yung bending, we can say na ang C nyan is yung L over 2. Kasi parang H over 2 yung C doon. Kasi nga, bending eh. So, yun yung C natin. And yung inertia, makukunin natin. Kasi ang inertia ng rectangle is BH cube over 12. Alam natin na yung kinukube natin sa part na yun is kung ano yung axis na nagbe-bending or yung axis of rotation. Eh, dito sa figure natin, ang axis of rotation is ito. And ang tinamaan ng axis of rotation na dimension is yung L. So, ibig sabihin, kung kukunin natin yung inertia, para dito, sa footing na to, it will be, inertia is equal to B L cube over 12. So, kung ipapasok natin yung equation na, or yung bending na MC over I, kasi yung C dyan, that is L over 2 na nga. So, ibig sabihin, that will be M times L over 2 divided by B L cube over 12. So, ayusin natin yung equation. Nakagawa tayo ng so, M L over 2 yung ilalim is times na siya so, magiging 12 over B L cube. So, cancel yung L. Magiging cube siya dito. So, 
that will be 12 so 12 yung uh, yung 12 dito magiging 6 eto magiging 1 so magiging 6m so yun yung simplified form nya so that will be 6m over bl squared so yan na ngayon yung dati nating mc over i so this is used for rectangle footings lang or rectangular footings lang so to simplify further yung q max natin yung q max kasi natin dyan pwedeng p over a plus 6 yung m kasi natin sabi nga natin that is p e so ibig sabihin that is 6 p e over b l squared so si b l squared kasi pwede siyang maging si b times l kasi area times l pa ulit so ibig sabihin a l meron kang a l pa dun so that means this will be a times b l so as you can see pwede natin i-factor out si p over a so the q max natin will be uh, p over a times 1 plus 6 e over l then yung q min natin magpapalit lang naman yun ng sign so that is q min is equal to p over a times 1 minus 6 e over l so yan nga yun yung pwede natin kunin na simplified equation it's either of the two yung pwede nyo gamitin it's either ito or etong mga to so that will be for our eccentrically loaded foundation whereas we have a little eccentricity where E is lesser than the current distance so we'll proceed with another eccentrically loaded foundation pero ang condition niya is E is equal to E sub K or yung eccentricity natin equal sa current distance as you can see here sa diagram natin or dun sa figure natin nag equal or nag coincide yung eccentricity and yung current eccentricity or yung current distance so ibig sabihin nun magkaiba pa yung diagram pag equal sila dun sa current distance so the tendency is syempre using the principle ulit of transmissibility will have an actual load and a moment so having this actual load and moment yung actual load will cause a bearing pressure of P over A and still yung moment natin will cause a bending pressure which is uh, yung bending formula is MC over the I so ngayon ang tendency nito is since nag equal yung eccentricity at yung current distance ang tendency will be yung P over A will be equal to the MC over I so ganun yung nangyari dito sa ganitong scenario so ang tendency nun kung P over A is equal to the MC over the I so ibig sabihin kapag inad natin to madudoble lang sya so that means Q max is just twice of P over A or it is just twice of the MC over the I. And yung part na to, pag pinag-add kasi natin yan, ibig sabihin, yung Q dyan, which is the minimum, will be equivalent to zero. Kasi nga, nag-equal sila. So as you can see, yung pressure diagram ng soil natin for an eccentricity equal to the current distance is ganito. So nag-zero out yung dulo, and yung Q max dito will be twice of either P over A or the MC over the I. Kasi nga equal lang naman sila. So yan yung eccentrically loaded foundation having an eccentricity equal to the current distance.
Then, for our last eccentrically loaded foundation, whereas yung eccentricity natin is greater than the current distance. So, ang tendency nun is ito. Yung P natin, mas malaki yung eccentricity niya compared to the actual current distance na E sub K. So, syempre, we'll convert the actual loads and the eccentricity into a combined actual load and moment so yung P and yung M so syempre still the actual load will be P over A and yung moment will cause a bending pressure which is the MC over the I so for this one ang tendency or ang nangyayari sa P over A Yung P over A natin is mas maliit compare sa MC over the I. So, the tendency is kapag inad natin yung diagrams niya on this side, yung P over A will cause a larger Q max dito. Kasi mas malaki nga yung P over A and MC over the I. While on this side, as you can see, pag pinag-add natin yung P over A and negative MC over I, since mas malaki si MC over I, ang tendency natin is magkakaroon tayo ng minimum na patension. So, that means our Q max is still P over A plus the MC over I. Then our Q min is still P over A minus the MC over I. And since this is part pa rin ng soil, yung ina-analyze natin, so ibig sabihin, si soil, hindi kasi siya tumatanggap ng tension. So ibig sabihin, kailangan natin i-cancel out itong part na to. Since, uh, wala nga tayong tension, so para yung uh, sa RCD, siya yung concrete crack. So, ang mangyayari is tatanggalin natin tong part na to. Kasi nga, there's no such thing as tension for soil. Ibig sabihin kasi nun, kaya siya nag-negative is umangat na yung footing natin on that side. So, we have uh, a value of x para dun sa distance kung nasaan man yung, kung hanggang saan man yung tension side. So, ibig sabihin, kung meron tayo ditong L, so that means itong distance na to will be L minus X. So from that point of view, meron na tayong pwedeng i-ratio and proportion. So we have Q min over the X will just be equivalent to the Q max over the L minus X. And getting the value of X dito sa ratio and proportion natin, pwede na natin ngayon i-cancel out on this side kung ano man yung value ng X para hindi na siya masama dun sa kailangan nating pressure na i-cause dun sa soil. Kasi nga, hindi naman tumatanggap ng tension yung soil natin. So that is all for this topic regarding uh, the effect of the current distance and yung eccentricity dun sa bearing pressures on our foundation. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.